good guys it's rc3 back here with the tutorial today and today i'm going to show you guys how to do the split clone effect in after effects <laughs> I bet a lot of you guys have seen videos on Instagram of people doing the split cone effect. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Let's get into it, let's go. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so first you're gonna get your clip. Today I got a clip of a wide body Mustang here in San Diego. I will put, it's actually a girl who drives this. I will put her Instagram in this. Three, two, boom. So. We got our clip right here, whichever clip. When you're choosing the clip, it's, it's better if it's clean on the outside. Um, right here it might be a little hard, but we're, so we're gonna go through it. All right, so we're gonna, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come right here, Roto Brush Tool. You're gonna click this once, and then you're gonna go to this square with the footage and double click it. And then the screen's gonna come on the right. Open this up, zoom in a little. So you zoom in and you select the car that you want. So we're gonna start it right here where it starts getting clear. And we're just gonna go around with this roto brush and go around the car. So it selects a little bit more, it selects a little bit more of what we need. So we're gonna press options. We're gonna press options and then drag what we don't need. And then you're gonna to have to do this for every frame. Just look over every frame because with the voter brush, it does a pretty good job of making sure that it's tracking the subject that you picked. So I'm just gonna go a little fast because I don't I don't need to make it perfect, but you can take as much time as you want to make sure it's nice and crisp. See, it's kind of getting this headlight right here. Make sure everything's good and then go over, go down and start dragging. And it's tracking for you, making sure all the lines are still on, intact on the car, not selecting outside the car. So now it's gonna come to the full car and you're just gonna do that with every frame. See, if, if I was making an actual video, I would go more in depth, like, this is not as smooth as I would like. There we go, see, much smoother on the bottom. And when you're done, do the whole thing, you, it's all selected, you press freeze down here, the bottom right, freeze, and it's gonna freeze all the frames. Okay, so now after you press freeze, you can X out of this. And now you just have a car on a black background. I'm gonna cut this now, Command Shift D. Delete this, drag this here. Now we have the car just on a black screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Command D. And this is gonna duplicate our layer. So we're gonna do, if we're gonna do two cars, so the original car plus two cars behind it, we're going to do three more layers because we're going to need a top layer and then two more in between then a bottom layer. So we're going to do uh, command D three times. That's going to give us three more layers. We're going to get the bottom layer and we're going to go to the top left to roto brush and we're going to press delete. So now we're going to have a full screen. This is the top layer, so we don't touch that one, but we're going to touch this bottom one right here the second one from the top. And we're gonna go to, we're gonna press this arrow on the left. We're gonna go to effects, transform. And at the beginning of the video, we're not gonna have anything. We're not gonna have it coming up yet. So we're gonna press the timer on position, select that keyframe, and we're gonna drag it to right before we want it to come up. So right before we want it to come up, then we're gonna do another keyframe and then right where, and then do another keyframe right where we wanna go up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll it up. So we're gonna go on the left, which controls the 
where if it goes up and down and we're going to scroll it up a little bit and then we're going to scroll until we want it to start going down it's going to be close to the end and then we're going to put another keyframe and then all the way to the end where we want it to go all the way down and type 540 because that's where the original spot is so if we look at it it goes up we watch it, it goes up and comes back down so we're gonna do the same thing for this third layer down here so we're gonna little preview this is what it looks like raw this it comes down slowly boom okay so to make it even more smooth we're gonna click this position right here we're gonna click the actual word position and we're gonna click this graph right here graph editor we're gonna click that graph and we're gonna zoom out scroll up so see how it's like straight line, boom, boom. We're going to click this. And we're going to go to easy in, or e we're going to go easy out, because see how it's going down this way and this one's going down. Just to give it a little, this is for beginners. A lot of guys can critique it and say, that we can go in depth in this which we could but we're just so we just press easy out again when we click this frame so we do that again click this frame right click this keyframe right here press that so if we, now we rewatch it it comes up a little bit more smoother we can adjust this to how we like it um so it's a little bit smoother this is just again for beginners uh, if there's any pros out there looking at this video this is just for beginners learning after effects it's how i learned let's do that with the easy out again and all together 